All right, so you did your summer shred. You dropped 10 or 15 pounds. You got rid of the COVID belly. What I want you to do now is to shock your system somehow. In the same way that you take a cold shower and just it just freaks you out for a second, or an ice bath, how it freaks you out for a second. There are some speakers that talk about changing your state, your mental state, literally changing your state. Sometimes I find that mentally, can, changing your state mentally can help you change physically. For instance, one of the things I used to do was when I was an employee, I would do some, have this mindset where I'd say, I'm the CEO, I own this company, I own this building. And what that did was it caused me to walk a little faster. That's how you get my walk 25% faster thing going on. But I found myself picking up gum wrappers or if I'm walking down a hallway at work, picking up trash and throwing that out or collecting it until I see the next trash can. I'm the CEO. I don't want my building, my company, what I own, my environment to be dirty, messy, unkept. So mental can change the physical. Now, can physical change the mental? Of course it can. The ice bath, the ice cold shower. Don't write that off. Having a little bit of discomfort does change you mentally. It does. What can you change in yourself? Certain things like losing a lot of weight can, for instance, make you not even recognize yourself. You're walking by a store and you see your reflection in the window. And if you've lost a significant amount of weight, gained muscle, look different, walk different, it literally, for a tenth of a second, you're going to think it's someone else. That's pretty cool, isn't it? What else can you do? I tell people all the time, just do something radical for yourself. Not illegal. Do something radical. Like, for instance, I'll never forget back in the 70s, reading in Rolling Stone magazine how Peter Gabriel shaved his head. And he said it was like a religious experience. And he had, like, the most beautiful head of hair. But even before he was losing his hair and thinning. He shaved his head. I shave my head about every 10 years. Just take it right down to nothing, about every 10 years. And it shocks me. It does something to me, literally. Something I do on the outside, the body, affects me mentally. For instance, there are times where, where I work out and I'm in pain the next day. Like right now, like right now, I'm in pain. I had a great workout. I feel sore everywhere. Sore. I literally feel like I got beat up. That's how my body feels. I feel like just like a gang jumped me and just pummeled the heck out of like my whole body. But here's the perspective. Knowing I got this pain from working out makes it a little more, what's the word? It doesn't hurt less, but it gives the pain meaning. What sucks is when you have pain and don't have any meaning, where it's insignificant, it doesn't mean anything. Like divorce pain, it just, it sucks. Getting T-boned at an intersection, that sucks. How do you change that? Assign meaning to it. If I, if I didn't work out and I woke up as sore as I am now, I'd be calling a doctor. I would literally be in the ER right now. But knowing that I worked out, and I'm just trying, I'm just feeling my body now. Like arms sore, shoulders are sore right now, legs kind of sore, quadriceps from doing a few of the leg machines, just really like leg presses, sore, very sore. And I just gotta like massage my darn quads right now just to like ease that pain. To the point where I'm almost like, 
I'm not limping, but I'm just very, uh, what's the word? Quivery. I'm quivery, like my legs are quivering, kind of. But knowing that I got a good workout in, that's a price you gotta pay. All right, so it's making me mentally a little bit tougher. So the outside stuff that you do can affect the inside, the attitude, the, the mindset in which you approach life. I posted something on, I forget what social media site today. I hate all social media. I hate it. Can't stand it. I hate what it does to me. I hate what it brings out of me. It hasn't really brought the best out of me. And it's been around for what? Since 2005 or so? Like as we know it now. Hold on, I'm driving to work here. In a little bottleneck. All right. I posted something that said, the beginning is near. You know how there used to be people, there was cartoons and memes and things with like some like ragged old prophet looking guy holding a sign on the street that says, the end is near. Those people have always existed. The end is near. What if you take that and flip flop it? and say the exact opposite. The beginning is near. And think about it. So life as we know it, and rather than grieving how life has changed in the past year, because some very smart people said, this, this crap ain't gonna go away, folks. Don't think that this is gonna go away in three months, six months, or a year, or five years. This is here to stay, and I truly believe that. Some of the prepper types, the more forward-thinking ones, and the finance, the more forward-thinking financial analysts, things have changed. You either get with the program, roll with the changes, or it's, your life will be shortened, literally. Do you have a way to release stress? You know what's worse than alcohol and eating shitty? Stress. Stress will kill you faster than those two things. But we keep talking about how bad it is. The end is near. Think about it this way. The beginning is near. Was it... Who was the guy that talked about the butterfly? Or the butterfly? Or the caterpillar? What what the caterpillar calls the end of the world. Right? Something like that. The, the master says this is it's just the beginning. Where did that come from? I remember growing up and we had that book in my house. Put your answer down below if you know what I'm talking about. It's a real, real popular book. I'm having a brain fart right now. You know, the baby in the womb, it's dark and comfortable and surrounded by warmth. All of a sudden, all of that warmth and that comfort and all that fluid it's just kind of swimming in just breaks. And now... That whole area that the baby was in is now getting tighter, tighter. And that baby is now moving through a canal. And that baby all of a sudden, for the first time ever, is seeing light. That's pretty traumatic. That's, you know, like birth is a pretty traumatic thing when you go from comfort to all of a sudden, like, wow. looking at some of the flood damage here in Norristown. Pretty wild. That baby, I don't know if the baby has the cognition and is thinking, my life is over with, but definitely it's thinking, something is changing here and I'm not real comfortable with it. Your world right now is changing so fast. In the past year, your world has changed more than it has in your entire lifetime. Does that mean it's the end? Flip-flop that. Make it the beginning of something. Don't acknowledge it as the end. Like, for instance, if you're reading a book, you get to the end of a chapter, 
you turn the page, there's a new chapter. Or if you're reading a series and you almost grieve the end of the book, but you say, ah, it's part of a series, it will continue in the next edition, the next installment, or watching something on TV, a series on TV, and the episode ends, and then you have a sense of anticipation and excitement about next week's episode, and that's a whole trickery thing where they do scenes from next week. Scenes from the next episode. And they kind of get you going and looking forward to it. That's how I want you to look at life right now. Change is happening. It's the end of an episode. It ain't going back. It's not going back. Life is never going to go back to, to normal. And I'm not even going to talk about the, that new normal thing. Because that's a bunch of bullshit too. The new normal. Everything that you've experienced. Everything you experienced in the past 18 months. Is orchestrated. Engineered. Manufactured. Are you going to cave under it? Or are you going to roll with the changes? What are you going to do? Are you going to bitch and moan? Are you going to join conspiracy groups? Or are you going to act? Are you going to do something different? Guess what? You got a new dance partner. You better learn how to dance with the new, with the new song that's popping up. And you might not like the beat of that new song. And your dance steps might be a little bit awkward, as mine are, as everybody's is. But things are not going back to what they were. Ain't gonna happen. Ain't happening. Sorry, my friend. All right, time for me to go to work. I'll talk to you later. Daybreak Show, Patreon, Monday. See ya. Be inspired. Do something about your life. Deep in the shadows, I know it's hard To put one foot in front of the other ah, So far is the echo, where do we start? You can learn to discover a million stars Here in the shadows, I know you're scared Take my hand together, we'll make a stand We've got to fight to find a way Dare to fall to find our words to say No more hate Just admit that you're just afraid Time to let go of all your fears and pride